Yo, what's good, everybody? So we are trying something new again. Recording from work, because that is the only place I'm able to do it for the most part. But anyways, as the title says, is Loot Derby worth it? Is it a fun mode? Let's find out. So this is a gameplay I took about a week ago. Um, basically, you get three quick kits to choose from. Assault, Balanced, or Suppression. Suppression is the only one that I've seen with T4 ammo so far. So four. So far. But, uh... Anyways, yeah, we end up going with the M16 because, yeah, it's got A1s. Everybody's running crap gear, so A1s are pretty good in this mode. So far, my overall thoughts are it's good for warming up at most, maybe. I don't know. I don't know if I like the mode. I see a lot of people grinding it. I don't have time to grind the leaderboards, so I'm not even trying. Um, but for 2,000 Cohen per quick kit, that's a really good price to be able to warm up, basically. It's pretty much 2K for TDM. Just push all the gunshots and uh, yeah, hope for the best. Practice your gun skills. Yeah, I'm kind of just gonna narrate over my gameplay as we go. So I heard shots to the right and to south. So I'm gonna push over towards this house next to Villa. Dead bot in the road, our player, can't tell. So there's people over here. Right here, I don't know why I pushed in front. I should have pushed behind the truck. And that's exactly why I got shot. So I know there's at least one guy, 300-ish, that shot at me. Don't know where though, and there's a lot of hiding places, so kind of wary peeking through this window, but uh, one decides to push behind, if you couldn't tell, that was some nice editing right there where I cut out a chunk of time in between them pushing and, uh, yeah, them not pushing. I don't know what that guy was thinking. That was like world's dumbest push right there. So I know he's got teammates, but I don't know, I don't know how many. We'll see what they do. One thing that sucks about this mode is there are no... Uh, surgicals. So once you get a broken arm or a leg or whatever, it stays broken the rest of the game. I apologize if you hear coughing in the background. That's my freaking coworker dying. Not really, but he's choking his lungs out. Hopefully the editing will, uh, hopefully my editing will be able to trim it out, but we'll see. Right here, I got flashed. Obviously, right, Captain Obvious? I don't know why he didn't push though. He flashed me and didn't push. Super weird. So I'm gonna go back up here, see if he's gonna push or pull another grenade. If I hear him pull the pin on something, I'm gonna push. Because that's the playstyle I like. Yep, so right there, I hear him pulling the pin, so I push down. Easy kill, caught him off guard. Downside is he threw a freaking gas grenade, so now I'm dealing with this, but. I know he's got teammates. Not just because of the sound indicators either. I could hear them. I just couldn't tell how many. But it sounded like one pushed upstairs. So right there, I got lucky that he didn't push. I had one bullet left. <laughs> but then he kept peeking. That was another easy kill. So we got three dead. There's most likely more. but this freaking gas grenade is ruining me, so I'm gonna try to heal up a little bit. And the fourth kill secured, but now I have two broken legs. <laughs> so now I'm gonna deal with uh, using painkillers for the rest of the freaking match. Another, another nifty cut right there. So you guys didn't have to uh, spectate me healing for the last five minutes. But yeah, so now it's all just looting, all right, for the most part. There's still players left in the match, though, so we're just going to get what we can from these guys. I was mainly trying to get bullets because those are just easy money, and that's, you know, it's loot, derby. It's what you're supposed to do other than just go for kills. But bullets and heals are what I was going for once I had my two main guns. A little tetrising there. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys like 
me leaving that in and just speeding it up like I do. Um, I've had a few people tell me they do like having the Tetrising left in, so that's why I've been doing it. I don't want to leave it full time because that'll make it a 30 minute freaking video and you guys will watch me Tetris for 25 minutes. But uh, yeah, let me know in the comments down below if you guys like that or if I should switch it up. If I should switch it up, tell me what I should switch it to. Curious your thoughts. Still just trying to collect bullets. Maximize my loot, you know? I'm still not very good at Tetrising. I'm trying to get better, but luckily these guys had a good amount of uh, T4 bullets, so that was easy money. Again, like I said though, I'm not alone yet. You can see by my ping, I'm at 44 ping, which I'm pretty sure is what I started with, so not alone still, so I'm just going to keep looting, but be careful about it, basically. I still don't know if there's another, another team outside or anything, I just know inside is secure, so I'm just looting safely while I can, basically. Sadly, this guy only had, like, T... I don't even know what HP rounds are, but they weren't T4. <laughs> it's like T3, T2. Let me know in the comments if you know what HP rounds are. I don't feel like looking it up right now. Yeah, so like I said, now I have broken legs and a broken arm. And the only thing I can do is PK, because there's no surge kits in this mode. One really big downside, it's just, it's super easy to die, I guess, because of that. So that sucks, but, you know, it's what they did for the mode. So out right here, I wasn't sure if there were players or bots right there. I obviously found out it was bots. So I'm just going to continue outside now and uh, check that fourth body. When I'm done looking around for some reason, I don't remember why I was looking around. Like I said, this was recording from like a week ago. That was a pretty good video, or a pretty good, uh, yeah, it's a pretty good game. So I figured I'd turn it into a, a loot derby video, give you guys my uh, my thoughts and opinions on the mode. Another MK right here. I really should have swapped the MK out for the uh, the AN or the RPK. I wasn't thinking that could have been more loot. I end up leaving it behind, sadly. But luckily, because it was the MK, he had T4 ammo. He had M80s. So we're gonna take him for all his gold ammo. Yo, if you guys are still watching, by the way, eight minutes in, massive, massive W. All right, I appreciate you guys. If you haven't yet, make sure you smash that like button. I'm trying to run them up to like 50 likes if we can. And uh, if you're new here, I do stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Uh, Wednesday's slowly becoming Warzone Wednesday because Warzone Mobile's coming out and I'm enjoying the game. But right there, fifth kill, let's go. But yeah, I do post arena breakout content and Warzone Mobile content pretty much every day if not every other day because i'm streaming on the days that i don't post so consider subscribing hope y'all are enjoying so far hope y'all enjoy this new style by the way too if you do definitely gonna kind of go off the feedback so if you guys enjoy this let me know and i'll keep doing it like this hopefully i'm gonna be able to cut out all the extra audio crap in the background so it's not just noisy Yeah, so fifth kill right there, big W. Now it's just down to looting again. I believe my ping is dropped all the way now. I think. We're going to find out in a second here. Once I'm done taking all this guy's golden ammo again. This guy was somewhat of a gold line. I should have taken the AR-57 too. I realized after editing this that I didn't answer my own question. Is Loot Derby good? I don't really think so. I, I think it's great for warming up because it's only 2k Cohen to go into a raid and if you die it doesn't matter, it only costs you 2k. But no, I don't really enjoy Loot Derby. It is good for warm ups though, before you go into a regular raid. Alright, that's my two cents. Yeah, this guy had a ton of gold ammo. It was a big W. Big freaking W. That and scopes and all kinds of stuff for me to grab.
feel like I left some stuff behind on that guy, but I know I at least got all the T4 ammo, and I think that was my main concern, was just making sure I got all of that. Right there, I thought a dude was running towards me. That was not a dude, that was a bot, happily. So my ping is still 44. Well, uh, it's dropping a little bit, 30. So yeah, I think that was it. Now I think it's just bots. Yeah, now it's 24. So when your ping goes all the way down, or drops a ton, you know you're alone. Freaking scab scared the crap out of me. Thought I was about to die after doing all that work. Yeah, running like 700 meters to extract with PKs and broken legs is scary. Bots can kill you so fast. <laughs> I was doing my best to not die here. Another swift little cut there. You guys don't like watching people run for like five minutes straight, right? You'd rather have me cut that out? <laughs> I feel like I'd rather have it cut out if I was watching the video. Popping more PKs just in case, even though I'm like 99% sure I'm alone. You never know. Always prepare to not be alone, basically. There was a lot of loot there, too, that I probably could have gone through, but I didn't feel like it. I figured I had already found everybody that had loot, so I just took it for all that I had. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video and you haven't yet, smash that like button, alright? Um, hope you all did enjoy, and hope you all enjoyed this new style. Definitely let me know in the comments, because I will continue doing it if you guys if you guys did. And uh, yeah, catch you all in the next video. 426,000, not bad, 5 kills, I'll take it, okay? Alright, deuces. Thank you.